Anderson. I am founder and CEO of The Art of Applying. The Art of Applying helps people from all around the world get into the world's best graduate schools and get money to pay for it. Today we have one of our rock star clients here to share her story of success of working with us. Her name is Vita. Hi Vita. Hi. Um, okay, so Vita, first tell us what good news you have received so far. You haven't received all your good news yet, but you've gotten some good news. So share with us what that is. I've gotten acceptances from American University and NYU, both are policy schools. And um, I'm yet to hear regarding funding from AU, from American oh. University. Okay, wonderful. So you're still, we're still waiting to hear about funding from American, great. And then uh, tell us about the other schools you've applied to that we're still waiting to hear back from. Um, I'm still waiting to hear from Harvard, Princeton, Oxford, LSE, um, George Washington, and Georgetown. Okay, okay, so we got lots more schools. So in a few weeks, lots more good news is surely on its way because so far you've, you're two for two, right? For schools that you've heard from, of getting in. Okay, wonderful. So how does it feel to so far already be admitted to American and to uh, NYU for policy school? At this point, I'm, I'm still really overwhelmed. I'm excited about I'm going to graduate school. I've always wanted to go to grad school and I, I can't believe that it's happening right now. Um, I actually am looking forward to making a decision, um, picking a school which to go to. I'm also overwhelmed by, you know, having to make that decision because um, I like all the schools that I've applied to. I'll be happy to go anywhere. Okay, wonderful. Well, and I look forward to seeing where you decide to go. And if you want our help with deciding where to go, of course, we're here for that. Um, okay, so Vita, one of the things I know people who watch these videos always want to know um, mm -hmm. is the person's stats. So please share with the audience whichever of your stats you feel comfortable sharing. Um, people will want to know things like um, your age, uh, country of origin, your GPA, what you studied, your GRE score, but only share whatever you want to share of, of those things and only get as specific as you'd like to get. Sure, uh, I'll be happy to. I was born and raised in Mizoram State in India. Um, I did my bachelor's from Delhi University. I did an honors course in political science. I have really low GRE scores. I got a 143 and a 145 in quant and a 154 in verbal, which is really low for a lot of the policy schools that I'm applying to. Um, I have about three to four years of work experience and I'm 25, so I'm still in the lower end of the, of, of the class. Yeah, the class okay. separate. Wow, Vita, I did not know your GRE scores. <laughs> the, those are quite low. You said 145 low. quant and one in verbal. 154 verbal. Wow, that is quite a triumph, Vita, yeah. to be two for two. Um, yeah. Wow, I did not know your GRE scores. So, so wow, I'm very proud of you. I'm proud of the work we did together, um, you and the team, and also just proud of you. Tell us, um, tell us what made you reach out for help. How did you find out about the art of applying, and what made you reach out for a breakthrough call? So I applied to grad school for the first time in 2015. I got into NYU at that time, but for a different program. Okay. And um, I didn't get any scholarships and I couldn't get an educational loan. Um, I work in human rights. So they look at my credits, which was really low, um, obviously. Uh, and I come from a lower, no, a middle class Indian family. So obviously we don't have much money in our pocket. Um, I had to turn it down for financial reasons. And I also learned a few things on my first application, which was my GRE scores are low, A. B, I need to improve in my work experiences, which I have since then. Um, but I do have a year-long gap in, 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 in my resume, my work resume. So those are the two setbacks or, that I have. And um, I think I first... Heard about the art of applying, I think in 2014 or 2015, when I went on the internet, I just searched like consultants or people to help me with my application because I had no clue about applying to graduate schools in the States. And I subscribed to your blog and I have been subscribed to your blog since then. And this time I realized that, yeah, this is a, this is a very different company 
because it seems like it's very, from your blog, it's, it seems like it's very people centered rather than um, other consultants that I, I've talked to, which were, um, some of them are more, I'm not trying to talk ill of other consultants, but it's just, it's different. Yours is different because it's, it's very people centered, heart centered. You're concerned about each individual rather than the stats. Yeah. Um, so that's why I decided this is the, the co consultants that I want to be partnered with in my application. Oh, wonderful. Thank you for saying that, Vita. I love that. People-centered and heart-centered. Thank you for, for sharing that. Um, so talk to us about the experience of your breakthrough call. How did, what happened during the call? How did you feel? Um, and what made you take the leap and say, I'm going to do this? So um, Dylan, sorry. Is yeah, you can say his name. I, t I told Vita, like, try not to say people's names, but it's okay. <laughs> Dylan, you spoke to Dylan. Um, yeah, Dylan was the one who took the call, and um, he understood my, my issues, and he seems like, okay, this is where your issues are. We know we can work with you. We know how to get you to where you want to be um, within the timeline that you have given us. Uh, we can do this. And um, I like the fact that he's able to see from my perspective and my problems and where I see myself. He shared my vision. And um, that's when I realized, yeah, I'm, I'm doing the right thing by coming oh, to this. Wonderful, wonderful, great. Um, so you had your, you Googled, subscribed to the blog. You're on the blog for several years. And then you said, I'm going to take the leap. So you made your, you booked your breakthrough call. You had a great experience speaking with Dylan. You said, I'm with the right company, people-centered, heart-centered. So now tell us about what you hoped would happen when you joined the application accelerator and then what did actually happen. So I was just hoping that, um, A, I need help with my essays um, because I know my scores are low and I need to figure out a way to uh, tell my story without sounding um, arrogant or like um, to help me tell my story straight. Yes. Um, and that was, that was my expectations. Um, and then Dylan and I, after the call, I'm not sure if it was Dylan or someone else or the consultants, um, that's when I realized, oh, I actually, I can aim higher. Like I can totally aim for NYU again, which is different school or with AU, which is like the top uh, policy schools in the, in the world. And um, I honestly was not expecting to even get into AU at that time. And the consultants were like, no, we can get you in there. Do you want to get in there? And I said, well, if you can help me, yes. And yeah, so I, AU was actually the first school that sent me the acceptance letter. Um, so far, <laughs> my experience has been really good. I exceeded my expectations. Oh, that makes me so, so happy to hear. That makes me so, so happy to hear. So Vita, um, talk to us about the red flags in your application and um, what your feelings were about how they might affect your application process. So you had a year long gap of um, being out of work um, and then also you had a low GRE score and you had already applied to different programs um, and you had actually been uh, successful with getting into NYU into a different program, but just feeling like, can I really get into my target program? So what were yeah. some of the feelings you were having about some of the weaknesses or the um, growth areas in your application? Um, my essays, first of all, they were so important. They were crucial. Um, with NYU, with this program, um, we need to submit a writing sample. And I feel like that's where, um, I made a huge improvement. I've already uh, published this writing sample that I was about to submit to NYU, but I sort of refined it through, uh, you know, like the editing tractor, tracker. And um, after three submissions, I was like, yeah, I'm there. I wish that I had not published it before. I wish that I was able to publish this version, but it's okay. Um, also my CV, great improvement. I, I have never been good with writing CVs. And I've never been good at um, listing down my accomplishments because sometimes I feel like, oh, am I uh, talking to, do I sound arrogant? Am I talking too much about myself or am I not selling myself enough? So I'm always in between the, like, I've never been on the right path. Like it's, it's either of the two extremes. 
So um, in my CV, I, that's where I see the most growth. Like I really, my true self was really brought out with my compliment, accomplishments without sounding too, too arrogant. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm very happy about that. Um, and then that's, a, is that possibly a CV you could also use now that when you are job searching, do you feel like that's something also you can use outside of the application process? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I just need to put the education at the, at the back and then I'm set. Okay. Awesome. I'm glad to hear. So yeah, that's like a, a win-win. Uh, yeah. So Vita, what would you say to um, maybe other international students who are watching this video wondering, uh, can I get in? I'm an international student. I'm, I'm from South Asia. Can I really as a South Asian apply with a low GRE score and expect to get in anywhere? Um, you know, a lot of times our clients, um, particularly from India, are really worried if they don't have really, really high grades or if they don't have really, really high test scores because there are just so many people applying from Asia in general um, with really high scores. What would you say to them? I, um, I graduated with a first class degree from Delhi University, um, which, is, which is pretty good for, you know, um, political science uh, student. Um, I would say, don't worry about it. My, you know, my scores are really low, like 297. It's just, yeah, people, no one will ever tell you to apply with those scores. But I did. Um, as long as you peak in other areas, or as long as you show the admissions committee that, you know, this is who I am as a person, because they, they take a holistic approach. In India, when you apply for graduate school or to MA or PhD, they look at your, there's usually an examination they have to give. So if you pass that, then you're good. But in the US, they prefer to see you as a whole. Who are you as a person? So if you're able to, to tell the adcom that this is who I am, and this is why I won this school, and this is why I fit into this school, I think that's, you're set, like you're, you're good. Mm-hmm. And um, were you able to do that? Before? Do you think you would have been able to do that on your own to, to, to what you just said? Um, I know you mentioned that we helped you a lot with your essays. How much of that do you feel you would have been able, how, how much of that did you even know to do on your own? And would you, do you think you would have been able to do it on your own? So having been through the process in 2015, I knew that my essays were like, they're gonna be a game changer for me. Okay. Um, but the problem I had was, I don't know, because I had so many experiences, right? A lot of schools ask you to, to um, say, um, they ask you a question and then they ask you to, based on your experience, how would you answer this question? Mm -hmm. um, so for me, I have so many experiences. I don't know which one to choose. I don't know which one would be best to answer this particular question. Mm -hmm. um, so that's where the consultants were a lot of help. Um, they helped me understand like, oh, this experience is good. This is good, but not for this question, but for this other question. Wow, great. So that's where I, get the, I got the most help, yeah. Ah, oh, wonderful. Okay, Vita, anything else you would like to say to encourage people out there watching the video wondering if they should take the leap to invest in getting help? Um, maybe they're thinking, oh, well, it worked for her, but maybe it's just a fluke. I don't know if it'll work for me. Maybe there was some sort of magic or something. Um, mm -hmm. What would you say to someone watching this video wondering if, they, they see themselves in you, but they're just not sure if they should take the leap to, to work with us and get help for applying to, to grad school. Well, so far, I've received um, acceptances into two schools, and NYU has a really high, you know, um, <clears throat> what would you call an acceptance rate? A low, sorry, oh, a low acceptance rate. Yeah, low acceptance yeah. rate. Yeah, high yield. <laughs> So they have a low acceptance rate and I got in with like a 297 score. So I'm really no, I'm pretty general in terms of stats, but um, like I said, essays and CVs, that's where you come out the most. That's when I think as Indian students, we don't know much about how um, graduate schools um, admits or looks at, look at students. Mm -hmm. So I, I think we need help in that area because it's, it's vastly different from how we do it here. Um, first of all, that's why you would need a consultant to help you with your essays uh, and your resumes. Secondly, uh, you need, well, at least for me, um, I need a, a bunch of people who help me see my vision, help me share, like share my vision so that I can actualize that. And I feel like this 
this is the right one. Because oh, they, they still got it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was talking. What was the last thing you said? Uh, they're the one. And then you said, what else? Um, I said, they're the one. They know about the application process. They also understand how different it is for us. So you need someone to help bridge that gap for you. Beautiful, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story, Vita. I know it's going to help and inspire a lot of people who are who watch it. Um, and I look forward to hearing about all of your amazing, more good news. We're still waiting to hear from six more schools right now. We're two for two. So I, I just want you to know that that's really um, good foreboding news to of what's to come. So be encouraged and We'll chat after this video about uh, what we were talking about before um, with just um, thinking about what to do um, at, between now and hearing back from the rest of those schools. Thank you, Vita. Thank you for having me. Bye. Thanks for watching our video. For more videos just like this, make sure you click subscribe. And if you want to work with us on your graduate school applications, visit us at theartofapplying.com or click on the link below in the description.